Look, man, uh, we got to stop making excuses for volatile people, man. And especially if you over 40. You got to stop making excuses for volatile people because you too old. I was made aware of a situation here recently or somebody I know went to jail because this woman is out in public popping off at the mouth because she mad, don't know how to control her emotions. And so, of course, uh, as a man, you're going to defend her honor and you got yourself in the situation the way you, now you arrested. And that, that threatens your livelihood. Look, man, people in general, people, period, stop making excuses for volatile people. Fellas, if you're dealing with a woman who is flipping at the mouth and cannot control her emotions, that's a red flag. Walk away. And women don't, don't come in here with that damn, uh, yo, he just wants somebody to be submissive. You could be a strong woman without being a confrontational asshole. And the same thing, go, if you flip it, women, if you with a man and this man is volatile, he always is some shit, leave or don't get involved with him in the first place. Because it's a little bit different when you're a woman dealing with a man like that, because at some point, that's, oh, that's going to turn around on you and, and some violence can get introduced to the situation. Ain't nobody got time for volatile people. And once you reach a certain age and then they preach all the time, I'm too strong for people. I'm a bit much. Man, shut the fuck up. You the same person who create hostile work environments. You probably can't keep employment that long. You fuck up family cookouts. You, you the motherfucker keeping up shit in the family all the time. You can't keep no friends because at some point you're going to say some slick shit and fuck that up. You stay burning bridges, but you want folks to admire you, admire their behavior. Hell no. Now, I do understand that every now and then you got to you got to act a clown. You got to keep a clown suit handy. You have to keep a clown suit handy, keep it in the trunk, keep, keep it in close proximity because you might have to don it every now and then because folks will try you, life will try you, and you might have to act a clown. Sometimes it's just enough to put one foot in the clown suit and people are like, oh, okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Sometimes you got to do that. But some of y'all walk around with your clown suit on 24-7. Funeral, you got on clown suit. Child's PTA meeting, you got on clown suit. Football game, clown suit. Work training, clown suit. Clown suit is not an all-purpose outfit. It's done if needed. And who the hell do you think you are that other folks are supposed to just adjust to your moods and what you're dealing with? You better go get on some medicine, buy a service dog or something, and go to church, get you a counselor. I don't know what the hell. You're going on sabbatical, do something else. Everybody ain't supposed to adjust to that. And I advise anybody, I don't give a damn who get mad at young women and young men. If the person that you are pursuing shows you that they have the potential to be volatile, walk away. Walk away. Ain't nobody got time for that, especially in these trying times. When everybody out here it, it got pistols on, people pissed to happen, and the cops are pissed to happen. Dang. If somebody claims to love you, but they'll let their emotions get the best of them to where they will put you in harm's way, that person don't love you. Because if somebody loves you, they'll protect you. They will shield you from shit. Stop making excuses for volatile people. That is not something to be admired because you are loose cannon. It's not. You are something is wrong with you. Once you reach a certain age, you don't have a level of discernment to where you know how to pick and choose your battles. You don't have the you don't have the you don't have the wherewithal to diffuse situations, to walk away from situations, to read a room, to read a situation, to where you will put your life, your spouse's life, that your your freedom, your spouse's freedom, your, your finances, whatever. You will put all that in jeopardy because you're mad. Nobody got time for people like that.